Hey guys, it's been a while. So I've had a little bit of a break from YouTube. I haven't been posting videos in the last couple weeks, but I'm back and I'm back with another vlog. This morning we had our orientation day for a new term, general practice, which is called family medicine for you guys over in the US. And it was good. We went in this new building. So they built this uh, new health science building, which is really cool. And we went through things like the assessment criteria, how to get the most out of the term in terms of our learning. And right now I'm at home. I'm all snug in some new clothes. And no, I haven't changed med schools. This is my girlfriend's med school. She gave me some merchandise and she designed the logo, which is pretty cool. It's been pretty bad weather in Sydney. We've had flooding in some suburbs and you would have seen this morning that just an absolute downpour. So I got absolutely soaked. I didn't bring an umbrella and that was a huge mistake. Absolute poor form, very poor form. But right now I'm gonna try crack on to a few online modules. So the uni has given us a bunch of different lectures for some common GP presentations, things like hypertension, osteoarthritis, a child coming in with sore throat, those sort of things. So I'm gonna start those now and try crack out as many as I can before the sun starts to go. After our first session on writing drug prescriptions, we review cervical screening. Each of us practice using a speculum and we perform a pap smear on a dummy, which is what you can see me doing in the background. In Australia, we have a national cervical screening program, which offers cervical screening tests for women aged 25 to 74 years. The test looks for evidence of HPV, which can lead to changes in the cells of the cervix, and it's done every five years. Once everyone's had a go, we do a group exercise where we have to choose the most appropriate contraceptive care for different female patient vignettes, whether that be a intrauterine device or a contraceptive pill. We also get a chance to practice using an otoscope. And honestly, after a lot of struggling, I think I managed to see the tympanic membrane, but again, I'm not too sure. So I'll need to do a bit more practice. Hey guys, so I'm on a one and a half hour lunch break. I went to Subway and grabbed myself a chicken sub and I'm in one of the tutorial rooms now. This morning session was good. We went through prescribing medicines and we got a little bit of practice with the otoscope, which is a little device that lets you see in the back of your ear. I've got about 45 minutes until my next class, so I might crack on to a few online lectures. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I see you were added on the schedule last minute. Mm -hmm. um, they had a pretty busy morning, so um, tell me a little bit about why your friend brought you in. I don't have to go talk to your, uh, to your parents, you're old enough now to make your own decisions. So whatever you share today is, is just completely between you and I. It might be useful to put you on um, some prophylactic medicine. Mm -hmm. So it's just some medicine um, that we give in, in cases like this to make sure um, that you don't develop any sort of infection. So. The doctor shows empathy and understanding. <laughs> 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 you guys looked at me and you were just like... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Flip this out and then it shows oh. you. Oh, so it's like a selfie. I love that. So that's, that's how you, like that's how you vlog. Hey guys, so I just met up with the Prak group and we're going to get some Japanese food. Hopefully the line isn't too long because um, we're all pretty, pretty hungry. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't, but oh, okay. we can... Okay, what's ramen for? Let's try this one. Alright guys, so we just finished dinner, bellies are full, and we're going to head over to this dessert place to pick up some ice cream. <laughs> I can't believe. 
<laughs> okay, now I don't know what to say. <laughs> Don't put that in. <laughs> Dude, this it's tastes like brownies. Really It's now mid-afternoon and I spent the morning kind of mucking around, doing a little bit of life admin and I had a good sleep in, so I'm feeling well rested. But before we started our term, we were automatically assigned a practice to go to. So I gave mine a call last week and they told me to come in tomorrow, which is why I'm at home today. I have a day off, there's no scheduled class. And I made myself some coffee to get me in the mood to do some study. So I'm gonna try crack on and do two or three hours of work. And earlier this week, we were recommended this textbook called um, Motag's General Practice, which is apparently like the Bible of general practice here in Australia. So I'm going to have a quick look at that and try do some work so I'm not a complete potato during the day. I can't stay. No, I always got go. Playing house to stay home with my soul on the road. I can't stay. All right guys, so before I finish doing some study, I did a few online lectures as well. We were covering um, dermatology that you'd see in general practice. So I was going over the main types of rashes and the lecturer gave a good diagnostic algorithm to figure out what's the differential diagnosis, whether it be a red scaly rash a red non-scaly rash, a vesicular rash, or a pustular rash, you can sort of figure out what is the most likely culprit or what's the pathology. But I finished going through those lectures and I was reading Motargs, which is really, really insightful. I love the little acronym they give at the start called PROMPT, um, which is P-R-O-M-P-T, which stands for like provisional diagnosis, your red flags, um, some things that are often missed, and then R-O-M, M masquerades, and then is the patient sort of telling me something, what's the problem? So now I'm doing a quick training workout, just finished on the rowing machine. Um, I'm doing pool day, as my brother would call it. And I've got to go to bed relatively early because tomorrow I'm starting at 7.30. All right, I'm gonna crack on to the rest of the workout. Sit still for a minute, I'm so dead set on indifference. Keep it Charlie stay down with them dickens. Let's get around, like it's the 80s, right round, let's keep spinning. Let's keep playing these games that we don't wanna finish. And I'm sorry if that sounds a bit bitter. But I am to the court. You want the whole damn thing. Then you ask him for more. You want that old jive swing. You take up all of the floor. I'm fine with standing at the edge of the door. You be the life of the party. I blend in with the court. You drink it all to Bacardi. Till the bottles no more. Let's take it back for yeah. this started. I found a quiet spot in the park and I finished my first clinical session before. Met my new supervisor. It was really nice, really friendly. Um, they showed me around the practice. I met some of the other medical team. Um, and it was really good. I got to sit in with a bunch of different patient consults and I was seeing a variety of presentations and sometimes the patient's not always comfortable with a medical student sitting in so you kind of have to leave the room and wait till it's finished and how it works is that we have to attend a certain number of sessions during the term and each of these sessions last at least three and a half hours and we can do a maximum of two per day so my next session doesn't start until two o'clock so I have an hour and a half left of the lunch break I picked up a burrito Zambrero's beef one, um, the classic, and I'm probably going to try find a cafe uh, to sit down and do some reading. I believe that everything happens for a reason. I believe that there is greatness inside all of us. Best believe what you believe is what you will become. That what ain't given is a what you give out gets return. Life's a gamble, roll the dice. Days on earth ain't promise. We just all living on borrowed time. That there's still hope in the world.
Today was a long one, went from 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. And one of the biggest challenges in primary health is helping patients to change their behavior which may pose a significant health risk. So that could be cutting down on say smoking or alcohol consumption, that could be incorporating more positive health behaviors like increasing fruit and vegetable intake or improving medication compliance. And one technique to help motivate patients to change is using motivational interviewing. And at the core of motivational interviewing is a few principles which are well summarized by the acronym OARS or O-A-R-S, O standing for open-ended questions, A for affirmations, R for reflections, and S for summarizing. It helps the doctor and the patient be on the same side um, to help achieve the patient's long-term health goals. Um, another fun fact is that the topmost prescribed drug in Australia is atorvastatin. And then I think some of the heart drugs come after that. And then you've got sertraline as nine or 10, which is an SSRI used to treat um, anxiety and depression. But I'm not gonna do any more med stuff for the rest of the night. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So keep it G with what you say. If I believe in you, then will you promise to believe in me? Life could be heaven on earth. It's around midday and I've had a pretty chill morning. I watched a lot of YouTube and generally procrastinated. And I'm at home today because my supervisor isn't in at the practice, so I have a free day. And I just finished lunch and I was reading through this new book, The Emperor of All Maladies by Siddhartha Mukherjee. And it's a biography of cancer where he talks through the current treatments, um, how we came to our knowledge of what cancer is and sort of the history of it, so it's been really interesting. And I've also been recently reading a lot of medical related books, some by Atul Gawande, also Gifted Hands by Ben Carson. So if you're looking to pick up a medical related um, book, I'd suggest checking out one of the ones on the screen. But right now I have about 30 minutes until some online Zoom classes. So I'm gonna head upstairs and prepare for those. Just finished the two seminars. One was on medical error in hospitals. The other was on um, the different types of doctors and how we can move up the ranks. Some of the things that we should be thinking about in terms of career planning over the next couple of years. So really useful lectures. And right now I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna veg out. Uh, I really enjoyed this week. I felt like I learned a lot. Uh, GP seems interesting so far. I'm excited for all the things that I'm gonna get exposed to over the next couple of weeks. And I got to catch up with my mates, which was always good fun. But I'm gonna end the vlog there. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to see more content like this. And until next time, this was Sebastian, stay sharp. Go, go directly behind me, then I'm gonna move my head out of the way. So line up, line up, oh, line, oh, up, line 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 up. Okay, and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna move to the left.